Or are you listening to a bird, Johnny? Will Grigg. Will Grigg's on fire. What do you listen to? I had a phone call yesterday from a, a gentleman up in North Wales and a uh, very nice gentleman as well and um, I've got a few videos on, on the internet, um, well quite a few actually and uh, it's about laying Indian sandstone and he asked me um, what I thought what would be a good sandstone but the fact is unless you actually take the slab and you actually do something with it and try it and test it and the best way to find out about Indian sandstone is, is to cut it and uh, see how soft it is. You don't want a soft stone, you want a hard Indian sandstone. Just a quick reminder, we're making a circular decked area using an 8x3 profile. You've seen that in the last video and what we're doing is we've got a center point and we're marking this circular shape we're on the last cut now and uh, we are doing it with just a jack saw and ermine saw and um, it's coming on and once this is all cut now we're going to put some cross members across timbers we're going to turn it over and we're going to bolt it down and then we're going to get that in position probably tomorrow and then hopefully we may be burning and we'll be doing the method called Shosugi Ban, the uh, traditional method for uh, preserving wood and uh, giving it that antique look. Josh, I think we got the wrong size for the cheese board. Well, there you are it's uh it's done and uh i think the important thing with the shosugi band is to keep going till you get the desired effect and unfortunately what you can't see from the camera if you look down from this angle josh our viewers might still be able to see if you look down the gray it has got a worn feel about it you can feel the ups and downs of it it's probably gonna have to have another good scrub with a brush again but as you can see we're getting all the dust off and it's working and um what we were using before is was this one of these and obviously it doesn't compare with one of these you can hire one of these if you, if you don't want to buy one but the intention is that we're going to be doing a fair bit of this again so we've got a bit more of a commercial use out of that product than the smaller one um, the idea of, of using the water on it is obviously for health and safety, but what it actually does is when you get the water on there, this is apparently, I'm not an expert on it, you know, I've done it a few times now, but I believe what it does, it hardens the product off, okay, and it just makes it that little bit harder. But once the, we've gone through this process and we've got the desired look that we're looking for, we'll put it in, in, in position where we want it, and we'll get the client to walk on it and have a look around, and he can check it out and then we'll give it another scrub down and if he wants a more of an aged look we're probably giving it we'll give it a, a third burn all right we've had two burns on it we'll give it a third burn on it okay so if you look down here of course i didn't have much of a gap beforehand but as you can see i've burnt the edges now it's revealing the gaps in the wood giving that period look if you look down here you'll be able to see it and the wood's very undulated. It's not straight like it was before. And that's what gives it that aged look. So if you're after that sort of look, you just gotta keep going to, you get the look that you're looking for.
it's something satisfying um, being on the shovel for me and it doesn't matter what I do whether I'm doing the show Sugi band doing the decking whether I'm laying bricks or even doing stonework or even laying paving I think one of the most satisfying things I've done over the years is being on the shovel I, I enjoy it it's kept me healthy it's kept me fit but the one thing about being on the shovel is that you can soon make progress in a short period and it can look totally different and uh, what I've noticed over the years is that the clients love it they see the land being scaped hence the word landscaping if you can shape the ground up at a decent pace and you can show your clients what your intention is they can start seeing it and they can start generating a little bit of confidence so important Well, I wanted to do something really simple and just put um, a sleeper retainer in and then we've come across this big brute. But as per usual, a near 52 year old has to show these young boys how to get a boulder out the ground. And it's called get a Johnny boy in or use some ingenuity. Have a look. There you are. So it's out. Right, what we're actually doing here is uh, we're creating a retained area. The bank itself, um, it doesn't need a lot of retaining. It's only about uh, 14 inches high. But what we're actually doing here, we're creating a, like a groin, like a vein that you'd have along the beach to stop the sand moving. But we're having this as a retained area and you can see it's all different heights and hopefully it will mirror a time past, okay? And, um, but what we're gonna do with this is that this retained area, is that uh, we're going to do the show sugi ban? Any wood in this garden is going to be burned. We're going to do the show sugi ban method on it. We're going to burn the wood, and it's going to give it that real age look. I can guarantee you, this is going to look a period past. But what we've done here, we've screwed it as we've gone along. We've put the the profile in, just tapped it down. And as you can see, it's old itself at the moment. So we put a screw in the bottom, which you're not going to see because we're going to concrete along the bottom. We're yeah. What's going on, John? Uh, 
that's not me. But what we're actually doing there now is that we're cleaning off the, the patio and um, we had to recut two of the slabs. I wasn't happy about the cut, so we had to recut those. There's a couple of little loose bricks around, but before we point it, I want to give it a good clean off, and that's what we're doing now. We're going through that process now. The garden's nearly completed, and we're going to be using a jointed product, a brushing product, uh, that's in a nice black colour. But as you can see, we've got some artificial grass that uh, grass room we've got to. going to put in the grass but we're prepping the area for them it's not my thing but what we're doing here we're getting it ready as you can see we've got the show suit band trellis fence over here which is looking really nice but i've got to get it clean before i do any pointing so that's it for now that's a bit of an update in the meantime As you can see, it's the perfect match for this granite paving. And look how it brings the colour out of it. 